just unboxed the most exciting delivery. These are all the washi tapes I ordered for the sale and some are not for the sale. We have doodle washi, which I'm so excited about. And then we have more doodle washi. I'm so excited. I've ordered quite a lot. Hi guys, welcome back to a studio vlog. I'm having a really productive but like mildly chaotic day. So I've only just picked up the camera, but loads of things are going on today. I have had a big paper delivery this morning. The mystery subscription has gone live. I've finished designing my new releases and I've printed them and I've done some freebies, which I'm really excited to show you because they're so cute. So this is like more than I get done in a week normally. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm having a really good productive day. So I thought I would start the vlog and just say hello. I hope you're doing well. Had a super exciting washi delivery yesterday. Um, I'm going to show you them because they're releasing really soon. So there's no reason to like not. I did get two sort of separate clothes. Wow, I just dropped them. <laughs> oh, I told you guys, mildly chaotic. was probably putting it lightly. So I ordered like one collection of washi and then like a separate matchy collection of washi and then two individual rolls. So I'm going to show you um, one of the collections that I'm going to be releasing for the anniversary sale, which is on the 11th of June, which is not that long away. <laughs> Doodle washi. It's so cute. So I did five rolls to begin with. We have got one roll, which is coffee themed. And this has a gold foil of like coffee beans. The second gold one is a pink birthday themed one with little cakes and presents. The third and final gold one is like fast food with a little burger and some pizzas. These match my nails actually. That one is green. And then I've got some silver ones. So this is a blue and pink planning washi tape. Oh, look at the little highlighters. So cute. And then the final silver one is this witchy themed. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> is this witchy themed tape. And oh, I really love this one with the pink and the purples. So I really wanted to do doodle washi because I just, I, I just think it's such a cute like idea and they came together so well. I did want to go for like a pastel kind of vibe and I would have really actually liked to have included a yellow, but I couldn't think of a good like theme for yellow as a background color. So the coffee one originally was like a beige, but it didn't really fit with the rest of them being like a... <laughs> but it didn't really fit with the rest of them being like rainbow colours. Don't worry, these are mine. I won't fling yours across the office. So those are five of the rolls and I'll show you the other ones at some point, but I'm not going to be releasing them, I don't think, for the sale. Oh my god. <laughs> and put them down, Anna. And then I have one that matches the anniversary collection, which you haven't seen yet, but I will probably show you that super soon. And then another one is, I will show you because it's actually one that I've released before. My first ever washi tape is the floral purple, um, purple rain? Did I, was that this collection? No, this is, this washi was from my anniversary collection from like two years ago and it was called Believe. I think it was called Believe. I believe it was called Believe. <laughs> So I have like two massive boxes of washi to sort through over the next couple of weeks, but that's gonna go on the back burner for a little bit while I sort out like other things for the sale and this week's new releases. So I think right now I'm just gonna get to printing and cutting. Got a lot of stuff printed already that I can cut and I think that's what I'm gonna do for most of the day. Um, having a really good productive day. I'm feeling good. It's only half past one and I'm doing pretty well. So I'm very happy.
I've made myself one of the Dalgona coffees, I think that's how you say it, um, which is so reminiscent of summer last year in like the first lockdown. Yesterday I tried to do the albums on the Graftech and it worked really well. This is when I was testing my cuts. This paper actually has like a translucent backing which is super weird and I'm not sure if it would be the paper that I use for die cuts. But for albums it was perfect. So this is a finished album. I need to wait for some more squeegees to come before I can start sort of mass producing them. But I think that's going to be the job for the rest of this week. It's just to restock as many albums as I possibly can. I think you can see here where I like messed up the laminating part at the start, but the rest of the sheet like evened out. So I think it's going to work. I did a lot of admin stuff yesterday. I did all the photos for new releases, scheduled those listings, uh, restocked pink sands which is like the orangey blue like beachy kit that was released in the vinyl I restocked that in paper this morning I'm gonna tackle my orders I think as well I have I've got quite a lot of mystery orders so I need to sort of filter through which luckily Tom's app does it can just like quickly show me all the non-mystery orders um so I can print those uh, the invoices for those and then I can get cracking on those said the word those a lot <laughs> um so i'm gonna do those orders this morning as well and then probably do albums in the afternoon and um, tomorrow that's ari just coming in so making a racket but yeah i really hope i can sort of get the laminating part down because that's the only part of the albums that i think is going to be a struggle and like i wasn't great at laminating the a4 albums but i definitely got like the knack for it but the way you have to do it with this large sheet is a little bit different so i think it's just going to be learning like the new um like technique but i think it'd be fine so when i move my office around i've like changed where things plug in and this is the hub that i used to use for plugging like all my printers and stuff into my macbook and it's not really powerful enough to like keep everything connected so i ordered this which is a belkin hub and i think it's meant to be better because it's like actually made for this laptop and it's like apple um like Apple recommend it. So I'm gonna plug this in and see if it works. I mean, it's got every port I would probably ever need. I only really need the USB and the micro SD. <laughs> so I actually think you're meant to be able to like sit your laptop on it. I don't know if I would do that or not, but yeah, very weird. So I think I do need to have my laptop on it because this cable is not that big, but I like it. I think it's good. It's kind of like not sitting on it like well. I think as long as I don't move my laptop, it's going to be fine, but I'll see how I feel about it. I might get used to it. Otherwise, I'll just have to get some like extender thing that can go from this into my laptop.
it's Friday, it's new release day, um, and I got the releases done on Wednesday, so I'm going to spend some time this morning looking at my Notion, which is a new kind of website app to me, um, but it's really been helping me organise what I have to do for my different like planner face projects that are upcoming. So, um, my friend Kat, who is on my PR team, peace.love.planner on Instagram, she really helped me um, well she basically set up a notion for me um because when i was getting really overwhelmed with all the machine stuff and i was like i've got the anniversary coming up and i i haven't even really thought much about that because of the machines she was like the most valuable thing i think you can do is to spend some time to sit down and really plan what you want to do with everything and i was like okay but like i, I literally don't know where to start and i tried to do some stuff on todoist um and then like it just wasn't really laying out in the way I wanted and I was thinking about Google Calendar that I wanted more lists than just like a calendar and maybe Google Calendar can do that but I don't know well enough to know if it can so she suggested Notion which she also uses so I was like okay like it sounds really good um, and she basically made this whole I don't know what they call it is it a page a Notion page um, to like organize everything I have to do um, and it is so useful. So I'll put some screenshots on the screen just so you can see the kind of thing that I have been using it for. But obviously it's only valuable if you actually put accurate data into it and use it and keep it on top of it and stuff. So so what I want to do this morning is go over sort of what I've done in the last week, make sure everything is up to date and then plan my next week and maybe even plan the next week. So the week after the next one, because that's when the sale will be. And I had originally planned everything out, assuming the sale would still be on the sixth i think that was when the sale was going to be um so i need to like rearrange things in my calendar but i'm finding it so useful and helpful so i would highly recommend like actually trying to plan things on specific days because i always thought before like i can't stick to that but i'm also learning to be more realistic in what i ask of myself each day because i can see what i've done previously in a day so that is what i've recently been using to sort of plan everything out and just schedule my time because I really do need more of a structure I think. I think that's like a pro and a con of being self-employed and working for yourself is you really do need to like have the discipline to do your work or you end up working all the time and it like takes over your life <laughs> which is kind of where I found myself. So this is what I'm trying to do and I'm also trying to do everything in more of a nine to five schedule and I am working a bit later some days like if I feel like I can and if I'm into a task um, I might as well just carry on if I'm like not super drained or tired or anything but I am trying to stick to a 9 to 5 schedule and it's been a lot better that's like one of the I think I call it like a strategy that I learned in my last vlog I was like I've learned some things even though the wide format stuff hasn't worked out it's taught me a lot about like how I need to change my like working habits so Notion and then trying to really work set hours has been really helpful I did do some albums last night, um, it was really good. The only kind of like little bit annoying thing, which is only annoying to not have enough space or like surfaces in my office to work on, is the rolls of laminate I buy are 760 mil and I have to cut them to about 580 mil in the width as well as the length. And it's just really quite fussy because I'm used to sort of cutting entire lengths off and then trimming them like the widths perfectly. So I did order the laminate pre-cut to that width. So when that comes, I think it's gonna be a lot easier. Um, but I do still have loads of laminate to use up in my A4 size. I've already pre-cut. So I need to decide what I'm gonna do. I do think it's worth using the laminate up because it's not like the cheapest product. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, which means I have to do albums on the um, A4 printers at some point. I just don't know when. And having done it the wide format way, it's quicker, so it's a bit annoying, but it's fine. We'll get it done. I'm going to crack on with my Notion admin for a bit, and I'll let you know what else to get up to today. So it's a few hours later, and I don't feel like I've done very much today. Um, new releases have gone up. They've done really well today. Um, I think everyone wants to pick up the little sticky note freebies that I showed you earlier in the week. Um, they've had a really good reception, which is really fun. Um, so yeah, new release is going well. I've been working on the mood board for a mystery kit. I'm getting quite far ahead. Well, I'm I'm getting decently ahead with the mystery, which is fun. Um, so I'm trying to stay at that point, not like let it fall on the back burner and then be scrambling again. So I've been doing mood boards for a mystery and I'm really excited about this one. I'm excited about them all, to be honest, but 
this one's really cute. Um, I sorted out my notion, I have like a clearer vision for the next few weeks. Um, and I also chose some artwork to use for the sale freebies, which I want to put together today as well. So I think I might do that now. Um, I need to completely finish the exclusive anniversary collection so that I can start printing and cutting it. I don't know how many to make, but I'm not planning on it being like a limited collection to the sale. I'm going to keep it in the shop, so if I make too many, it's fine. I'd rather make too many than run out and then have to try and restock like the sale weekend. So I want to start printing and cutting that. So I think that's the plan for the rest of the day. I had a delivery of that laminate I told you about that's been trimmed to size. Um, and then I got the extra bit that they trimmed off and it's really tiny and cute. So I think I'm still gonna use that because it's kind of the size that I would trim the laminate to anyway. So I'm wondering like all this time, why did I not get them to trim the widths? Cause it would have made life a lot easier. But anyway, I'm gonna keep it and probably use it for something else. I don't know if I'm gonna do like albums on the wide format and the small format because then I can use up all the laminate. So I'm not sure, but I did get some laminate and I think that's kind of it for the day. I'm really not liking my hair at the minute. I'm thinking about not doing curly girl method for a bit and seeing how I feel. I do need a haircut, but I don't know. I feel like I'm not curly enough to properly benefit from it. And then my hair just gets really like knotty between washes and I can't brush it. I feel like it's a lot of work to only enjoy my hair for like two days. It's the not brushing I think that's really like just annoying me because my hair just gets so knotty. But then I'm like, maybe I'm just not doing the curly girl method correctly. But then do I, I'm, I'm not the kind of person that wants to put this much effort into my hair. So I've shoved it into a bun, which isn't great for it either. So I don't know, but now that I've changed my parting to be in the middle, I might try and embrace my like old hair as in like pre curly girl method and see how I like it. Don't think I'm gonna like it. Sorry, this is so boring, but I'm due a haircut like soon. I need to book one in because I was due one before we went back into the last lockdown. And then I didn't book one when we came out of lockdown. So I really do need a haircut, but I'm probably gonna wait until after the sale because I don't wanna lose like half a day because I need it colored as well. well. I don't need it colored, but I wanna top up my balayage and stuff. Balayage, balayage. Balayage, balayage. So speaking of the anniversary collection, I will show you the washi tape because there was a washi tape to match. And last time I did a tape, it was matching the third anniversary collection. Um, but I wanted to do a tape for this collection and I think it's actually quite a versatile one. So I feel like if you buy it, it will go with other things as well, which is the definition of versatile. So thanks Anna. But <laughs> so this is the tape. It's like a blue and purple, kind of like starry moon celestial kind of vibe probably gonna focus on my face now instead but I think it looks really cute and it's kind of oh, I'm really bad at this it's kind of like a sneak as to the colors of the anniversary collection so I'm really excited um I really love the tape as well like I think even just as a tape on its own it's really pretty but if you had it with the collection that it matches it would just like elevate it so I really wanted to do another matching tape so you've seen like six of the nine, ten? You've seen six of the ten tapes that I've got so far. I'm gonna end this week's vlog here because I'm just gonna be doing like design laptop work for the rest of the day which is not that exciting to watch let's be honest. I'm gonna get to editing the vlog and then I can put it up for Sunday. So thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this week's studio vlog and you're excited about the sneak peeks and the things that are coming in the next few weeks. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you next week for another studio vlog. Bye!